welcome to msc videos it's time to learn in the last video lecture we discussed about clipping what is been by a clipping is converting from the objects which are all present in the window to a viewport so you know what is been by 2d viewing by using window and viewport we can define that window is what is to be viewed and viewport is where is to be displayed here i am selecting some part of picture by using a window the same part of picture is converted into a viewport now here you see the original image is here and the remaining portion of this image is not included in the window as well as viewport so this portion is clipped so process of clipping the portion which are all outside the window is called as a clipping we define what is meant by identifying the portion of a picture that is inside the viewport and removing the portion that is outside the viewport so that's what we defined as a clipping let us consider an example here you consider this is a window here we are having three different points are located so before clipping these two points are located inside the window and this point is actually outside the window so after the process of clipping this point is clipped here you see these two points are included this the remaining the third point is clipped that's the process we are calling as a clipping first of all a uh, simple clipping operation is called as a point clipping to perform this point clipping just we want to perform two comparisons if a point is located inside the window then the point must be located inside the viewport also how you can say a point is located inside the window if x value is in between this x w minimum and x w maximum and y value is in between y w minimum and y w maximum if both the conditions are satisfied then you can say that the point is inside the window so you can use the point inside the viewport also so for the previous example this point here is the actually which is this particular point is within the range of y w minimum to y w maximum but it is not actually within the range from x w minimum to x w maximum it is less than x w minimum so we are clipping this so both the condition must be satisfied then second clipping is actually a line clipping the process is same here you are having a uh, 1 2 3 4 5 different lines are there how we are going to identify this so you can easily say that this line is completely inside the window and this line p3 p4 and p9 p10 is completely outside the window so this line is completely accepted and this line is completely rejected these two lines and here you see p5 and p6 p7 and p8 here partially it is available inside the window and partially it is outside so here i want to identify here in this line p5 to p6 actually we want to identify this location i want to clip this portion so i want to identify a location of this point let us consider it as p5 dash to p6 and in this line p7 and p8 both the points are outside the window but actually this portion is inside the window so here i want to identify a new point and here also i want to identify a new point that process we are saying as a clipping so line p3 p4 and p9 p10 is completely rejected since it is outside the window completely outside and p1 p2 is inside so it is accepted so it is partially inside and partially outside so we want to identify a new location here we identify p5 dash since p5 is actually outside and p6 is inside so we will use p6 as it is and here you see p7 is outside p8 is also outside the window so we identify new value for p7 dash as well as we identify new value p7 dash as well as p8 dash so for that we want to use uh, algorithm for this so that algorithm we are going to call it as a kokan sutherland line clipping algorithm so in this line clipping algorithm i want to use a region code or it may be called as out code or it may be called as a area code so it is actually a 4 bit representation in this the bit 1 the rightmost bit contain if it is 1 then for any point if the point is available left side of the window if b2 equal to 1 that is the second bit from right if it is 1 then it is available at the right side of the window b3 if it is 1 then the point must be bottom side of the window 
b4 is equal to 1 then if it is available at the top side of the window you can change this order but depending upon that you want to calculate this value so this calculation of this value is very very important so uh, b1 i said that b1 equal we want to calculate uh, b1 equal to 1 if the point is left side of the window so this portion the yellow color portion is actually a window so this part is a left side of the window so this portion which is left side of the window so here you see this is b1 and here it is b1 and here it is b1 completely for these three here we are calling it as 1 b1 equal to 1 and before that here we are having a window so there are total 9 regions are there 1 2 3 and 4 and this is 5 and 6 7 8 9 so totally left side of the window right side of the window top of the window and then bottom of the window here this portion is left side and here it is right side and these three portions are top side and these three portions are bottom side so if any point which is located at left side of the window then b1 is 1 and here you see for these three portions b1 equal to 1 and here b1 is 0 here it is also 0 here it is 0 it is also 0 0 and then here 0 and when b2 is 1 b2 is 1 if the point is in the right side of the window and here you see this is b2 is 1 and this portion b2 is 1 here also b2 is 1 and remaining all the six regions b2 is 0 b3 is 1 if the point is in the bottom side of the window and here is here you see b3 here it is 1 and here it is also 1 for remaining six portions b3 is 0 and b4 is 1 at the top side here you see b4 it is 1 and it is 1 and here similarly we filled all the region codes and if any point which is located inside the window then the region code must be completely zero here you see b1 is zero b2 is zero b3 as well as b4 is also zero so for any point if it is located completely inside the window then then the region code must be zero 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 by using this region code now we are going to clip a algorithm now we will discuss about this algorithm so first of all to draw a line we need two endpoints so we are getting x1 and y1 x2 as well as y2 first of all we are going to identify the region code for both the endpoints for x1 for a first point as well as for a second point for both the endpoints if it is completely zero means the line is completely inside always keep remember that let us consider if both the endpoints region code is 0000, zero, zero, zero then the line is completely inside the window so no need to perform any kind of calculation just the line is accepted for point 1 as well as point 2 or else if both the endpoint have 1 in the same bit position in the region code then the line is completely outside the window just imagine we are going to calculate the region code for the first point as well as we are going to calculate the region code for the second point we are going to compare these two region code for any two points the in the same bit position if the value is 1 let us consider 0 0 0 1 so last b1 is 1 1 0 0 1 and here also b1 is 1 in this case the line is completely outside so you can just reject this reject this line or else you can perform another one comparison you are going to perform and operation in between these two region codes if the AND operation result is not completely 0, 0, 0, 0. Then also the, the line is completely outside. Then you can reject the line. You can perform either comparison. Either you can check whether the two region codes contain one in the same bit position. Or you can check, you, you, can, you can perform AND operation between these two region codes. If it is not 0, 0, 0, 0, then also you can completely reject or else we are going to the move, move to step number 3 if 1 and 2 fails means the line is partially inside and partially outside if it is 1 line is completely inside if, if 2 is satisfied then it is it is completely outside now if 2 is also not satisfied then we are moving to the step number 3 which means that the line is partially inside and partially outside if the line is crossing xw minimum or xw maximum if the line is crossing x minimum or x maximum means x value is fixed you are going to identify a new y value so as usual we know the line equation y equal to mx plus uh, c so we know this equation by using this we are going to use y equal to y1 plus 
m of x minus x1 so we know the x value and then we are going to identify the new y value and here x equal to xw minimum or xw maximum or else line is crossing yw minimum or yw maximum then we are going to identify the x value so x equal to x1 plus y minus y1 divided by m here y equal to yw minimum or yw maximum after identifying this new x and y value once again we want to check whether the both the x and y values are present inside the window or not so by by using this we are going to repeat that so if x and y does not satisfy the following condition we are going to repeat step number three so a point clipping x w minimum less than or equal to x and which is less than or equal to x w maximum and similarly y w minimum less than or equal to y which is less than or equal to y w maximum so let us discuss an example by using this Kogan Sutherland line clipping algorithm. Consider the window size from 5 to 9. Clip the following line 4, 12 to 8, 8. So XW minimum is 5, XW maximum is 9, YW minimum is 5, YW maximum is 9. A line is from 4, 12 to 8, 8. So as usual, we are going to perform line P1 equal to 4, 12, P2 equal to 8, 8. And this is actually the you have to draw this uh, diagram then only you can easily identify so approximately you draw this uh, where you approximately you can locate this p1 as well as p2 so it may be wrong so after that you can uh, you can redraw this so let us consider so region code for p1 is 1001 and here you see region code for this p1 is 1001 because it is available at the left hand side so b1 is 1 it is available at the bottom of the window so b4 is 1 so here I am going to consider 1001 and region code for P2 which is completely inside the window so it is completely 0. So as usual I am going to check whether the, there is any 1 present in the same bit position there is no or otherwise you can perform AND operation 10 it is 0, 10 it is 0 so it is completely 0 so we can say that this line must be partially inside the window so you want to process that so line is inside the window so we want to identify that p1 is outside so you want to calculate the new value of p1 since p2's region code is completely zero so no need to identify a new value for p2 we want to identify a new value of p1 so we want to identify p1 dash so we consider x1 equal to 4 so we know this value y1 equal to 12 x2 equal to 8 and y2 equal to 8 so we know how to identify a slope value y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so you know the value m equal to minus 1 so first you see this line is actually intersecting with xw minimum this border xw minimum initially it is intersecting with xw minimum so we are identifying line is intersecting with xw minimum so obviously if you identify y value y value is also outside the window so first of all we want to do a step by step process line is intersecting with xw minimum so we want to identify y value so y equal to y1 plus m of uh, m into x minus x minus 1 so we know what is x w minimum isn't it x w minimum is actually it is 5 so we identified that so we identifying y value y equal to 11 so now we check with this condition y equal to 11 so the new point is actually 5 comma 11 here you see this is actually the new point initially it is 4 comma 12 now we are after clipping we are having 5 comma 11 you check the check with the condition first condition is satisfied and second condition is not satisfied which is not actually within the range so what we are going to do means we are going to once again we are going to perform the same operation once again we are going to apply the same algorithm so the new now the new line is from 5 comma 11 to 8 comma 8 so don't confuse with that initially a line is from 4 comma 12 to 8 comma 8 now it is clipped this portion is actually clipped 4 comma 12 to 5 comma 11 now a line is starting from 5 comma 11 ending at 8 comma 8 so you consider x1 equal to 5 y1 equal to 11 x2 equal to 8 y2 equal to 8 identify a new m value m value must be same so it is minus 1 now now here you see a line is going here and it is intersecting with this border what is this this is actually yw maximum this value we are saying as a yw maximum so you want to identify x value so x equal to x1 plus y minus y1 divided by m so here y equal to yw maximum here it is 9 and then we identify x value x equal to 7 now the new point is 7 comma 9 you check with this condition it is 7 comma 9 now the new line location is 7 comma 9 to 8 comma 8 so this is we are saying as a Kogan Sutherland line clipping algorithm so this is the best algorithm 
but one of the main drawback of this algorithm is we we seen this example a line is traveling from 4 comma 12 to 8 comma 8 we are perf we are applying this algorithm for two times initially the line is clipped from 5 comma 11 to 8 comma 8 then once again we are applying the same algorithm then only the line is clipped from 7 comma 9 to 8 comma 8 to clip a single line we are, we are using the same algorithm twice so this is the main drawback of this quacken sutherland line clipping algorithm to overcome this disadvantage there is another one line line clipping algorithm is there that is liang baski line clipping algorithm we will discuss in the next video lecture thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you